hello friends welcome to beru tech mac channel today we will uh, learn or we will try to understand what are the plastic processing technology uh, you are aware that in every part of our life now plastic is involved from childhood when you play with your toys that is also made in plastic when you grow and you use the various automobile you will find the maximum parts in the plastic your daily day to day use full item like water bottle telephones all are made in the plastics so today plastic is a one of the technology which are growing is a very rapidly across the all the industries and uh, other day to day useful life so today uh, we will try to understand what are the processes which are using across the industry to make the plastic parts so let's start uh, to understand the uh, basic principle of plastic technology we have to understand the deformation of polymer melt condition a uh, plastic uh, is uh, basically made in the two method one method by which on the we apply the heat and uh, the plastic raw material which called polymer is melted condition these are the various process like injection molding extrusion blow molding are the process where the uh, polymer comes under the melt condition the second was the deformation of polymer in the rubbery state condition in this the Uh, uh, plastic is not in the melted condition process, but it is the slightly uh, rubbery state condition. The major process which involves in this category are the thermal forming, vacuum forming, and pressure forming. We will learn these all technology one by one, how they are process and what are the their advantage, disadvantage, or their limitation. so let's start with first one the first one is blow molding it is very uh, common uh, process uh, an extruded parison tube of heated uh, thermoplastic is positioned between the two halves of the die or mold and it is expanded uh, against the side of closed wall uh with the help of air pressure you can see with the help of air pressure this parison of bottle is expanded and it will expand through its position and it will take the shape of mold or die and the mold is opened and the part is ejected ejected it is a low tool cost die rapid production rate and ability to mold fairly complex hollow shapes in one piece these are the basic advantage of uh, this blow molding technology all the circular or asymmetric shape of hollow parts can be made through this method only now now uh, next is injection molding uh, injection molding uh, it is very widely used uh, Uh, high automation of manufacturing is standard practice thermoplastic or thermostate uh, mat- uh, raw material of plastic is heated in uh, in a cylinder at a controlled temperature then forced under the pressure through nozzle into sprue sprue runners and gate of any cavity of die these are the stationary platter these are the moving platter in between the mold or die is uh, mounted so through sprue the melted of plastic material is filled into die and it's goes under the solidified solidification very rapidly then mold is opened and the part is ejected uh, it is the one of the most uh, useful uh, process in the industries the advantage is high production run low labor cost high reproductibility of complex detail and excellent surface finish are merit limitation uh, the one of the major limitation is high initial tooling cost 
and uh, not economic for the uh, is practically for small runs the parts which volume is very huge and uh, cost required uh, less that uh, parts are come in this uh, process majorly the automobile parts or uh, the high consumption parts which requirement is very huge that's uh, made on the, this process the accelerate dimension control can be maintained in this process and maximum all the plastic material can be uh, processed in this pro process next is extrusion it is also widely used in continuous production of films sheets tubes and other profiles also used uh, uh, in the conjunction with blow molded parts thermal plastic molded in compound uh, the compound is faded through this hopper and a screw pump where it is heated 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 and uh, then plastic is cut into uh, die and this uh, die is uh, called extrusion die and is it passes through this uh, this extruded die and which take the shape of this extruded die and uh, the production line require the um, complex profile or uh, the, all the possibility of uh, rapid production rate of similar type of uh, profile is possible in this category uh, the uh, tool cost is also low numerous complex profile which uh, maximum uh, long length is also um, used in this uh, method a very rapid production rate is uh, possible in this method uh, we can also apply some coatings or jacketing to core material such as wire in you have you have seen various wire which having the top plastic coating or so that is made through this extrusion process various pipes you can see in our uh, sanitary purpose or or uh, various other purpose that is made in uh, this method only a lot of channel or section cross section is made through this the limitation is uh, usually limited to section of uniform cross section if section is not uniform then it is very difficult to make through this matter method let's see what is the next next is compression molding in compression molding uh, the the compounds or the charge is usually preformed and uh, it is positioned into the die and that a mold is closed and heat and pressure is applied and the material flows into this uh, die uh, the heat heat completed the polymerization of uh, uh, and and it's take the shape of any 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 die uh, die the process is uh, some sometime used for thermal plastic or other material in this uh, the little material is wasted also the, uh, in general the very really large or bulky parts can be molded process is adaptable to rapid automation it can be made uh, high numbers of item also uh, the limitation are extremely integrated parts containing undercuts the parts having the side draws small holes or delicate inserts or the parts having the closed tolerances are very difficult to produce it is a time consuming process uh, the average production rate is low compared to other process and the next one is transfer molding <coughs> it is also used for uh, produce production of thermostat part within the some complexity is nature in thermostat molding compound is feed into the transfer chamber where it is heated through this uh, coils and plasticated then feed by the this plunger through the sprue and runner 
it reaches to the closed mold. Yeah, you can see by this plunger, plunger hits the this charge, and all the material charge go uh, through the sprue. It's spread over the mold. Then it's cold, and then part is ejected after opening this die. So it have the good dimensional accuracy, a rapid production rate, and very intricate part can be produced. And now what is the limitation? Limitation is mold cost is also very high. The high material losses is in sprue and uh, you can say this is sprue where the this uh, the, this material will be wastage and every time you have to cut down it. This is sprue and get size of parts is also somewhat limited like sim uh, symmetry type of part or uh, uh, can be made not very complex part can be made through this process otherwise and the the wastage will be increase very highly now next is calendaring in uh, calendaring process the dough consistent of thermoplastic mass is formed into sheets with uniform thickness by passing through uh, over a series of heated or or cooled rolls you can see there is two rollers which is uh, running opposite direction and this plastic dough will be passed through it and it will uh, comes um, with another uh, roller and it will convert into the plastic sheet it can be also utilized to apply plastic covering to the back of other material it is very low costly sheet material has uh, virtually free of mold stresses the mold stresses, stresses which are generated in the other process is uh, not uh, in case of this calendaring and you can see these are the um, uh, some actual pictures of uh, processing where the sheet of actual thickness is made with the help of this calendaring process now what are the limitation uh, limitation is uh, only sheets material and can be made and very thin films are not possible if you consider the below than the one and a half mm then it is very difficult to make now next process is rotational molding in a rotation molding a predetermined amount of powder of thermoplastic material is poured into the mold now mold is closed then it is heated through surrounding and then it's rotating the uh, the mold is rotating through uh, some rotating arrangement in uh, axial direction and x in uh, parallel of axis so what happened uh, the inner material fused inside the wall of mold and uh, with the help of uh, centrifugal force this material is sticks inside the wall of the die and uh, yeah. uh, it process is the uh, very low cost large hollow parts can be made in a single piece the molds parts are the essentially in isotropic nature or uh, it should be symmetrical from the axis the uneven uh, symmetric or uh, size is very difficult to um, mold through this method you can see some uh, the parts like um, uh, plastic drums or uh, overhead tanks or big uh, cylindrical buckets are easily made through this method these are the some actual photographs of uh, a process where you can see there is mold and some rotating arrangement in the die with uh, with the help of some uh, motors or some rotational uh, force limitation of this process uh, are the only hollow parts can be made 
and the production rate is slightly less because this process takes a lot of time so will uh, because layer by layer the parts is stick on the ball and as per the thickness of parts is take the lot of time to complete the whole process the next is thermoforming uh, thermoforming is a process where the heat soften soften the uh, thermoplastic sheet which is positioned over the some uh, machines and uh, it is um, and a male or female mold when air is evacuated between the seats and uh, that force seat to conform into contour uh, various vacuum snap back or uh, drap forming is possible inside this tooling cost is generally very low large parts production within the same thickness is possible it is very often very economical for the low volume parts having the limited production budget you question the, the this type of ship which is uh, uh, not very complex in nature or uniform thickness is required can be made through uh, this process the limitation is a very simple configuration part is required the scrap rate is very high in this type of part and uh, very uh, limited uh, numbers of material which can be used in this process otherwise um, if you try to use some other plastic material then maximum uh, the wastage and the uh, and uh, other uh, plastic related defect will be generated through this process the so only few materials uh, which are uh, suitable for this type of parts so these all about the uh, plastic processing thanks for watching this video till the end or um, i would request please uh, like this video subscribe and share with your friends and uh, please press this bell icon button so whatever i can put in a new video you can get the notification for that thank you friends thank you very much